Hey guys, welcome back. We're back in the cave. As those of you who have seen the previous video on rat rig sliders, I needed a bit more room. Not so much with this guy. This is the V-Slider Mini version 2.0. So let's quickly get in the box and inside, as expected, we have the card from Rat Rig. Very, very simple packaging. This is light. There it is. The version 2.0 of the V Slider Mini. Very quickly, just to compare it, the V Slider 35 centimeter, exactly the same length, but that's your difference. Let me get that underneath. So while still using the slot design that is familiar with Rat Ray products, as you can see, it is half the width that makes it much more of a lightweight setup. Guys at Rat Rig have said that there will be legs that they are working on to be released with this as well. As opposed to the standard V slider that has the 3 8 inch and also the quarter inch underneath, this one purely sports the three quarter inch. One thing to remember with the Mini is the fact that it's not designed for necessarily big rigs. It's not designed, I would say, for a full frame DSLR, nor would it be right for any kind of DSLR that's got a decent weight to it or any long lens. You've got to think about the stability underneath. As I said, there are legs to come with this, but until they do, you're going to have to get this onto something as well. Now, I just tried it with a Joby hybrid and it's not quite right. It's just a little bit too heavy for that. So I would suggest a Joby Gorillapod or something similar. Link in the description below for my recommendations. It will, of course, course work well with any other kind of tripod. This is the quick release plate for a Velbon tripod that I have here in the cave. And if I just quickly snap out these legs, crank that up a little bit, as you can see that will snap in nice and tight. And all of a sudden you've got a slider in such a small form factor. It's brilliant. Now on top of here, obviously you can throw the camera, whatever camera you're choosing to put on straight onto there. Will work well with the mirrorless versions of the Sony's and also the Fuji's. Thank you very much to Sonat for hooking me up with a ball head. I've already got the G7X on there just for a, for speed really. And there you have a slider system, which is so small. It will all fit straight in a backpack. Even with this tripod, it's really important to understand that with rat rig, the term reassuringly expensive does not work here. These are stupidly cheap. And there's one reason and one reason only for that. These guys are the manufacturers. They deal direct with the customers. And also they have their tooling sorted and perfect so that they can make sure that their prices are low. These are frictionless wheels. They're Durlin wheels. And to get that kind of thing, on any other system, you're paying a lot of money. Link in the description below about this. You won't believe the price. But let's get the, do you know what? Let's really, let's really prove this. Let's get everything really, really quiet. I've closed the window. I did have it open because it was quite warm in here. But let's get it really, really low. I'm going to really boost the audio now. So you're probably going to be, here, be able to hear the fans from the uh, computer, but let's just switch it over and let's just see what you can hear. Okay, I'm taking off the brake. There really is virtually no noise to kind of show just how quiet these are if you're going to be looking to get audio. Uh, while you're recording video with this. I'm going to push down really, really heavy on this just purely to almost simulate a really heavy rig or the heaviest rig that this would take. But let's just push that down. I'm going to leave the sound levels exactly where they are in post. No change in them. But let's compare that to the sound of the lens coming out. Do you get what I'm saying here? When these guys say they are frictionless, they really mean they are frictionless. There's nothing there. If you need to add some friction 
into this setup just to help you with your sliding. You can grab it either side here and push down to create the resistance. Now these wheels are heavy duty, they're durable, and that's so they can make sure that they can do the maximum capacity that this slider could accommodate. It's really important to point out that you really should only use what's intended for this and any kind of hardware that you've got with cameras, purely because if you overload it, you're then running the risk of damaging whatever equipment you've got it on. So you've really, really got to be careful with that. With the limited use I've had with this so far, and I wanted to get this up nice and quick because they're literally just about to go on sale with this from their website. I would say that this would be a perfect setup for those indie filmmakers, for wedding photographers, uh, anyone who needs to have a run and gun setup that's lightweight, but also that need to change their setups quickly for different scenarios throughout the day. Thanks once again to Rat Rig for chucking one of these out to me to have a play with links in the description below where to get these if it doesn't look like rat rig delivered to your country get in contact with them they are always looking to sort out those problems to get their products to people who want them if you're brand new around here consider subscribing there's much more to come from rat rig this year jibs cranes motorized sliders you name it those guys do it and i can't wait to start playing with those things as well and also if you're into anything kind of tech i do loads of reviews tutorials and all things like that if you've enjoyed the video consider clicking that like button it really really helps out the channel but as always most importantly thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you on the next one